And finally, 2v8 is official game mode, official game mode in Dead by Daylight. Yeah, right now it comes as limited event and you can easily go and play it as killer or survivor and you can easily assemble the party with your friends. In this video I will show you what's different in this game mode, is it fun to play, some tips and tricks and my final thoughts, what I think about this awesome or awful game mode. And if you want to queue a survivor, you want to go to the load up first and pick your class. Yeah, right now we get four classes and classes will have different abilities one, two and three, but all of them share ability number four. This ability is unlockable skills, it will be unlocked when you on the dash hook basically. This will give you ability to heal yourself without the help of others. Now let's take a quick look on our classes. First of all we get Escapist and while there's as always nice and beautiful writings like one who can defy the forces of absolute terror will deliver the team to safety. No, you're not trying to deliver your team to safety. Everyone knows you're trying to save your ass. So you will have team skill that will give bonus speed to survivors nearby when you sprinting basically. And this have cooldown of just 20 seconds, so you can sprint a lot. Aura skill that will highlight windows and pallets, basically windows of opportunity. And also innate skill gain 3% haste while injured. So basically you can loop, but it's almost impossible to loop two killers at once of course. Then we get guide. So guide is our gen rusher, basically we get team skill when repairing generator, reveal aura and your generator aura to your team. So basically you need to go and see and repair generators as a guide, so you will give some information to your team, while also you will reveal auras of nearby generators. That's pretty nice because there's a lot of generators on the map. And innate skill will give bonus of 3% to nearby teammates to great skill checks, so if you're mate can hit great skill checks that's nice but in my experience they can only you know blow up generators but that's fine then medics self-explanatory you will have boost of healing and you will boost healing of others so team skill will basically help your team it's always team skill the first one innate skill will increase your healing skill Progression basically by 35% and aura skill will show all injured survivors in basically wall map So that's pretty cool one and this medic you just want to go run and heal everyone and scout pretty unique and fun role When you see killer you will highlight them to your team So your kind of information beacon when killers will make break pallet actions They will show auras to you so you know where to go and seek them and innate skill will increase movement speed while crouching. So basically that's the role that want to go crouch and just look for the killers. However, if you play this killer, you will have assembled like four skills to you and it uh, will be also team skill, innate skill, killer skill and second killer skill. And you will be limited only to basic four killers, five killers. So it's basically hunters, trapper, race, hillbilly and nurse. For example, trapper, when he sets the trap, will give himself and nearby killers haste for three seconds, which is pretty cool. However, let's go to survivors now. So my role right now will be to go find generators and repair them as fast as possible. And we are on the map, so there's uh, like three to four maps as a kind of like standard maps, but a little bit bigger because we get a lot more generators. Let's hop on generator and do great skill check. If you're looking carefully, we are actually doing insane results with great skill checks and doing this gen pretty fast. So there's some spotter, you know, scout over there. He definitely saw hillbilly. And we will be in danger pretty like soon. Not a, not too soon. We can run away, I guess, from this bro. Let's go and find one more gen. Let's go and just do more gens. That's pretty much our job. And this new UI is just uh, completely chaotic. It's just full chaos. Oh yeah, <laughs> it's a pallet, bro. It's a pellet. Oh no. Like, it's complete chaos. Like, full chaos. And, you know, I don't know. Do I like it or not? It's actually. Uh, pretty much takes out all the synergy and other stuff when it's house all over the place. 
it's just impossible you know to do something in team but what you want to keep in mind basically oh yeah Billy by the way is not one shooting you with his saw in this mode there's a stuff to keep in mind oh I bet you can't roll through here bro Let's actually hide a little bit. No, 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 no. Bloody hell, Bloody hell bro. Oh my god. Just one second. So, you will see right now by your eyes that there is no hooks. Maybe you already saw that there is no hooks. And, you know... When there is no healers nearby, it's better just to go and do some other stuff. So, there's no hooks, there's only cages. Kind of similar that, uh, you know, Pyramid Head have. Oh, Purple Toolbox. Purple Toolbox is really nice one. So, do we have a chance To actually go on the gen i get i guess we can do it i guess we can do it yeah let's do it and i see someone healing over there let's go probably he's not healing he's doing some weird stuff so again we did like four gens there's a total of seven generators need to be done and total i don't know maybe 10 probably 10 so she ran away i guess i got some time to start repairing the gen let's go ladies great skill check it's just so insane half of gen is always done by just doing skill check and i wonder why do we we have this totems on the map we don't need this no. Okay, thank you for haste. Let's actually go and try to find the gems. Probably they're defending them really well. Okay. Let's do it. Let's do it, my friend. We're here together right now. And there's probably a lot of cool strategies you can go and try to play here. <laughs> and just don't die like that. Okay. There's like a lot of chaos. All over the place. And right now we will have ability to heal ourselves but that's not like a fast version of what you can do so better not do it so let's heal our teammates right now there's no healer nearby but that's totally fine we will try to survive right now let's play like carefully probably And I actually see the gen. We probably need to go and try to make it. Finish this one. So. We don't want to be on the gen alone. <laughs> and we get a teammate. Let's go. And honestly, you know what's the biggest problem with this mod? When the killers will figure out where the hook's located. Basically on this, like... Hills over here, they always in this place. They will just start to do some dirty stuff and you know, <laughs> won't give unhook like ever. So, I wonder, will we do this? No, 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 we will hide probably. Yeah, and this may be one of the like best strategies you can go for. You can just hide, you know, hide a lot. See your height a lot. And that's what you want to do. 
Maybe hide in the locker. This is also an option. And you want your teammates to come and help you. That's probably like winning strategy. Okay, minus two. This probably will be almost impossible for us to finish this one. So I just need to be careful. <laughs> so Billy want to go to me. And yeah, we're doing it pretty fast. Actually, a lot of people right now on gens. And if I will get some skill checks, I'm the one who can finish the gen. Okay, so they probably operated like far away from me. But I will run away. I actually... I believe in Dwight. I believe in Dwight. He should make this possible let's open the gates and gates in most awful positions in my opinion and there's three j gates actually and three gates is like fair at least fair so we get like two chances to open them but the timings is pretty standard in my opinion they're pretty standard so you need a lot of time to open the gates but that's the first game and first escape goodbye billy goodbye and probably not everyone can escape. Probably. Yeah, he won't. And since next quest is heal total two health states to any survivor, he's kinda screaming, go and play medic. And we are on Azarov right now. So medic is quite a unique character, I guess. Let's find out what will be our goal. So we are sprinting and we can hop on the gen. We get a lot of passives right now, and we're playing against Nurse. Oh my goodness. I guess she will have a lot of additional stuff. So, we get bonus for great skill check progress. Okay. I cooked. I cooked. I basically cooked. It's Nurse and Race. Wow, come on, I should have pre-dropped it. And Medic goes into cage, yeah, <laughs> this happens. But here's Leon. Okay, we're on the far away corner of the map. But Leon is nearby, that's cool. I wonder what Nurse is doing, probably hitting someone. So what I want to see right now, I want someone to actually go and save me, then save Leon, and we will heal together in like few seconds. Let's find out will it happen or not. And let me just explain how I like this hook stage. Basically, you can't do anything. I guess it need be added to the main game as soon as possible, so you won't be able to save yourself from unhook. And I hope this will be added to the main game as soon as possible, so you won't be able to unhook yourself. That's pretty, like, good situation. So, let's go, let's go. I see all injured survivors. And basically, that's my job, I guess. That's my job. To go and heal them. Let's release this lady from cage. Just stay, please. And the speed, the speed is insane. That's why you want to go and play in the team in this mode, you see? Together we're just healing in like one second. And I... <laughs> Mess skill check. That, that's what happens from time to time. But also as medic, I guess uh, they will heal me faster too. Let's find. No, no, no. Or yes, I don't know. Probably it should work on them, since I'm giving like a, a little bit... Whoa, what's up, bro? Go, yeah, you can unhook him. Just let's do it faster. Just sit here. Where are you running? And that's the problem, you know? Everyone playing a little bit differently. Like panicking, not panicking. And it's just hard 
Don't you do anything smart? All right, we are screaming since nurses walking through us, but that's fine. Let's do this, Mr. Repairman. Okay. I wonder if he goes after me or not. Oh, what is this heat, bro? Are you joking? Oh, it's hard to just even make like wrong chases, everyone dropping pellets everywhere, running everywhere. <laughs> it's like insanely weird and everyone is in cages right now. <laughs> What's the mess? This mess is amazing. Probably, I don't know. Okay, let's heal the, ourselves. Probably that's a smart idea. And these guys were healing without medic. That was like no smart idea. And while I like I ideation, whoa. I really like ideation behind this mode. In reality, you know, it's just impossible to team up with your team. And it's just a mess. <laughs> and also it's very nice that we see what roles people choosing before the game. So we can like pick our role. Right now we get no scout. So I decided to get a scout role right now. In previous games there were no scouts at all. And we will be scouting at Thompson Cows. So let's find out. What is our role? Our role is to crouch from the start of the game and go find the killers. So that's what we need to do. We need to go and find them. That's actually what we need. And that's actually what we need to accomplish in the game. So it's Billy and Huntress. And let's just go and make our job. Let's try to sneak behind him and showcase Mr. Billy to our team. He probably faster than me. He a little bit faster than me. But I know where to look up for him. And probably a scout, actually, we can go and unhook survivors. That's what we can actually do, you know? We're going scouting for killers and unhooking survivors. And when everyone's starting to do their job, that's where the mess will become really like pretty fun game i guess when healers heal you know scouts unhook and uh, look for killers and other guys just doing generators so that's what you want to do here there's no killers and we won't heal in this zone we better let's we'll go and try to look for these killers. We'll show the auras so everyone is aware where the killers are. That's our job. Carefully guys, carefully guys. The Billy coming. The Billy is coming. Actually I want to help Mac probably. As this lady. Oh, who is this? A few boys. Since I got the quest to make one gen. No one doing gens. That's what's happening when you're playing a scout. Everyone is on the hook and no one doing gens. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Can I finish this? Go, oh, come on. Why are you. Oh. Why is they so scared to just finish the chain? He can't one shot you with a chainsaw. I guess not everyone knows it. So, overall, it's nice fun addition, but I like that this mode will last only for like a few weeks, I guess. Because you know what is like biggest problem of this mode? There's no goal. 
and while some players probably assuming that having no goal is a fine stuff you know why you need to have goal you need to have fun in the game it's uh, hard to have fun a little bit when like you know you don't know what to do actually when everyone just running left and right and just like, i don't know doing some skill checks here and there <laughs> without a lot of information and understanding what's actually going on oh Hello, my friend. So, I would state that Scout probably is the most boring role, while Escapist, or how it's called, I don't know, is the uh, most useless role. Basically, you will see, like, stuff where you can vault, where you can jump through, but there's useless information, especially in this mode. Since, you know, in this mode, you actually, like, can I hide? I guess I can. I guess I'm completely fine. Yeah, she's not joking. <laughs> okay. So basically, it's impossible to escape the killers even if you see where to vault if they teaming up versus you. That's why probably if you assemble a full team of medics and uh, gen rushers, it will be like the best team ever. And now let's just ask these guys to follow. Here is a gen. And probably... Probably we will be able to do it. Come on. Come on. Oh, maybe I will take my words back. So this like running dude is pretty useful because we can together run away from the chat. So that's only useful stuff. Maybe a few of them on the team will be a nice addition. But overall, gen rushers is the best ones. Also, it's nice to know that uh, when basically there's two survivors left, that's when stuff became like really good. Because you will have this happy be And also it's very nice to know that uh, you will have hatch opened when there's two survivors left. So you don't need to build the last one. There's still probably only one hatch. But that's what we will see right now. Because we have the last two survivors left. And you can see that LD ran to the left side, so there's no hatch over there. Because we won again! <laughs> so escape trial is really possible stuff. And let's play one game of killer. So to by race, we got team skills that will hide tier radius of nearby killer when we are cloaked. Pretty nice one. We will have kinda add-ons, so cloaking and cloaking speed will be faster and movement speed while cloaked will be faster. So race is really juiced up in this mode. Upon entering a chase, survivors will be revealed for a few seconds. That's nice stuff to chase easier. And after kicking generator, all survivors will be revealed for 5 seconds. And it will be with increased regression speed of generators. So in my opinion, race is really cool and strong in this mode. Let's use one of the, my favorite skins. I think it looks cool. And there's a lizard on my stick. <laughs> lizard is awesome. The first problem when trying to play a skiller that I found, it's basically almost impossible to queue up. I waited for this match for around like 10 minutes. And we are on the mother's dwelling. <laughs> Let's find out how this will go. Oh, there's so much generators everywhere. By the way, let's hide Huntress. Oh, we can't hide, you know, her terror radius too much. She's screwing too much. 
I want you to comment. Do you wish actually for me to make different killer videos on this mode? Okay, that's the first one. Wow, here's a sprinter, I guess. Let's destroy the stuff and see all nearby survivors. There's the one. Here is another one. Yeah, this sprinter is actually not, not bad. Not bad at all. Since we can, like, I mean, they can run a lot. I injured a lot of guys here. So. I hope. Yeah, hunters can finish them off. Let's go and find some injured guys. They should be like right over here. And I see someone. I see a lady. Are you trying to heal yourself? Oh my god! That, that was a mistake. Quick attack instead of charge one. Yeah, that's what I want to do. I guess we were fine. Let's defend some gens. Is there anyone here? Oh, I hear you. I hear you, Clouded. I guess you're done. Ha ha ha. Let's go. Probably race is like most interest interesting person over here. Oh. Oh, she's still she still got this stuff on her. I wonder if this is like a good strategy to split up with Huntress. So they're teaming up and giving backs to each other. What a great team, actually. Okay, lady, I don't know what you're waiting for. But you should drop this pellet right now. There's a bunch of actually injured survivors everywhere. That's what I'm looking for. Whoa, that's the unclocking speed in action. Let's go and kick some gents. Oh! Here's my prizes. We can see everyone now. Oh, that's a nice spot, my friends. That was a nice spot. I like it. Oh. Your friend to the cage. Jeez. Okay. I guess we need to destroy this gen. We are gen kicker. Okay. And goodbye, mister. Is it minus one? Oh, it's first cage. It's probably minus one. Yeah, that's great. Is multiple gens nearby. 
we actually will try to like defend them <laughs> and i see a fox lady you know there's so much anime stuff right now in dbd bunch of stuff coming bunch of anime stuff coming here hunters have this have this guys let's go and team up let's team up you can't run you can't run that's why you know the runners is almost useless almost okay nancy i don't know but i guess you were on hook few times i guess you were on hook so let's let's make it happen lady let's do it i don't know what you waited for i don't know that's too greedy so i need to get myself on this gens since she definitely hunting someone Oh, that, that's a good one. <laughs> She's mine. She is mine. Okay, let's check out the chance. I definitely like, like killer gameplay in this mode. At least you're aware of the situation, what's going on. It's just impossible to guess what's happening when you're playing Survivor. And also, it will be impossible to guess what's happening when you're playing in Survivor with friends, I guess. Oh, that's a nice one. Since you know, <laughs> it's hard to speak when there's eight people <laughs> in voice chat. Hunter, stop running when th where there's like no gens at all. We need to protect Jens after all. You can snipe this lady. Nice job. Nice job. Goodbye to Nancy. And we're definitely doing nicely. Yeah, I don't know how many Jens we need to leave actually. But I see you. Stand to the cage. There's your second one. Oh boy. You can have him. There's this. No, it's already destroyed. Okay. Can I block him? Here. Whatever. Okay. Ah <laughs> That's how it works. Stupid hunters. She is mine. Go away. I did old job. Let's see what's happening here. So let's turn on our IQ, killer IQ, you know? And let's go over here. They're probably healing in this area. Yeah. There's the killer IQ, basically. Now no one is healing. Everyone is injured or will be soon. Let's zone here to this side and basically. Everyone is injured. I guess Huntress likes when everyone is injured. Yeah, she, she basically will have a nice time destroying these guys. Left and right, basically. There is no dead heart, of course, in this mode, so you can like be completely free to just go and hit. And three survivors left. This means it's hatch time really soon. Hedge time really soon. And this red and yellow stuff near the generator, I guess it's uh, who cooked. 
I wonder if I'm yellow or red. Probably I'm red, probably. We will find out. There will be only one survivor left, by the way. Yeah, I'm a red. And there's one more survivor in this trial. So there's already a hatch somewhere. Let's quickly try to find it. Maybe it's in the main. Oh, they're saving each other. Oh no, they're going straight to the hatch. No, you're not going to hatch. <laughs> yeah, we did it. So, my final thoughts on this mode. Basically, it's a really fun one. You definitely should try to play it. But my guess, you know, it's not suit well DBD. I would say DBD either should go into full, like, party game direction and have a range of modes, like a bunch of them, and completely get rid of MMR system and all other systems. So, like, no sweat. Hashtag no sweat at all. Or we need to go and fix the larger system you know give us the objective basically we need objective because when you're going and playing as killer for example a survivor no matter what a survivor it's even worse idea is pretty simple you know for example i want to play and get my great high you know upgrade my ranks but some survivors just going and playing archive quests and they need to go into basement and stay there for five minutes and i'm not mad at them but it's impossible to get my grades up when no one doing anything some people just playing to escape and you know they don't care about points about grades and therefore i'm ruining a game for them that's why DBD is in insanely weird state right now, in my opinion, and it should be fixed. I hope so. But still, Lara Croft is a great survivor, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Watch other cool videos on the screen right now, and see you there.